Hello. Today we will learn how to use files as inputs and outputs in Analogic Cloud models. We will use the feeding populations from Analogic Database model, which you can find in Analogic Example models. It is a simple model that uses data from an external data source. In our case, it will be an Excel file. This model will generate a population of agents based on this data. During this video, we will show how to make the model write some results in a separate worksheet in the same Excel file. Let's check the model database. You can find it in the Projects view. Here in the properties you can see that it points to a certain Excel file called Distributors. Upon the model startup, AnyLogic will obtain the data from this file and use it to populate its internal database. For now, our database has two tables, called Distributors and Trucks. The first one keeps a list of some companies, and the second describes how many vehicles of different types these companies have in their fleets. Let's create a new database table. We will call it Results and use it to keep a record of how many vehicles each distributor has in total. Initially, it will be an empty table. Let's name the columns Distributor and Fleet Size. The Distributor column will keep records of distributors' names, so these values should be text strings. The Fleet Size value reflects the number of trucks, so values there will be integers. Now let's tell any logic we want to write our database to the Excel file each time we are done with the model execution. Open the database properties again and click Export Settings there. Select tables you want to export and click OK. Select the Export Table checkbox so that our model records the data properly. We are exporting the data to the same Excel file we used to obtain initial data for our experiment. For the next stage, let's command AnyLogic to add a database record each time a new distributor agent is created. Open the distributor agent types properties. Here, in the on startup action, let's add some code that will append a new record to a database. What are we doing with this code snippet? First, we specify the database table we work with. Next, we specify the columns of the table we want to modify. Then, we are adding values that we obtain from certain attributes of the distributor agent, the distributor's name and the size of their truck fleet, to be precise. Finally, we execute the database query with this method. That's it! During the experiment, the database table will be populated with the agent data. Run the model to make sure the method works properly. Let's check the output Excel file. Looks like everything is there and a new sheet has appeared. Note though that for now this approach will work just once. After the first execution, the database table will be already populated. We need to purge the database table containing the results before each model run. Let's do that. Open the main agent properties and here in the on startup action code provide the following. From now on, during each model run, the results table will be first purge of existing records so we can populate the database with the new data. That's it, our model is all set up and ready for action. Let's now prepare it for working in AnyLogic Cloud. Open the Run Configuration Editor and simply drag and drop the Excel file to both Inputs and Outputs sections. This way we will be able to work with it in AnyLogic Cloud. If you want to use files in Cloud, you need to ensure the file is located within the model's folder and the model references it with relative, not absolute path. This is already the case with our model. Now click this link in Properties. We don't need to modify most of these settings. Just select a category in the box and proceed. Make sure we are uploading the database and the Excel file, click Finish and wait for the model to be uploaded to Cloud. The model page in Cloud will open automatically once the upload is completed. Let's get on with our experiment. Click the Simulation Experiment in the left sidebar. Here you go! Our Excel file is already available in the Inputs section. Run the experiment now, and here it is! The Excel file is now also available as output. Let's download it and check its contents. Looks like everything works. The resulting file has three sheets, and the results are available in the corresponding table. That's it! We now know how to upload files to AnyLogic Cloud and use them as input data sources, as well as for outputting results. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks to improve your AnyLogic experience.